Unfortunately, I want to start this video with yikes, as I'm not really liking the direction this is heading. If you follow the 9.2 stuff, you know that Sylvanas received a new model in that prisoner outfit, you probably already seen it by now. However, that is old news at this point. Just two days ago, yet another Sylvanas model was data mined and we also received some new dialogue, as well as a few other data mined hints, so obviously big 9.2 spoilers ahead. At the moment, it is obvious something big is brewing for Sylvanas, but what could that actually be? Her becoming the new Lich Queen, or maybe, worst case scenario, the Avatar of Azeroth. Is this really the redemption arc in its full glory? Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored, where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. So, in this video, I really want to get as straight to the point as possible. We have some big data mine hints, leaks, so obviously a barrage of spoilers ahead. As the entire Savannah's arc directed evolves around the Jailer, I first want to cover two large most recent hints in regards to Zobal himself. Before that, just a really quick recap if you haven't followed what was released about a week or two ago. Essentially, we know that the final boss of the expansion is the Jailer. Through the Sepulchre, he somehow reaches Azeroth during the actual battle, starts chucking cosmological energy at our world soul, and we the champions need to essentially absorb and protect and defend Azeroth. If we fail, it literally says that Zobal kills Azeroth and undoes all reality, which means that Azeroth is quite obviously important and does in fact seem to confirm the theory that it is the engine of the universe. Well, at this point, this is already old, already heard info, but we have some heart of the press and counter journal stuff that is cringy and nonsensical at best. So the actual boss encounter, for some reason, the Jailer boss encounter, says that we the champions will face off against the Jailer, aka the cosmic being who has never known defeat. Now, I don't know who wrote this, and my only hope is that this is somehow going to be explained in the future, but it makes like zero sense, absolutely zero sense. How and just how is a guy whose entire story is that he was imprisoned in the worst prison in the entire universe, stripped of everything, put in chains for thousands of years, a being who has never known defeat? Until like five minutes ago, this guy was like the embodiment of defeat. Minor stuff, but I digress. We also have another general encounter that gives us some info on the motives of Sylvanas' former master. So, in this case, I really hope there is a lot more than this, because if this is the culmination of the build-up, then damn, I just don't know what to say. So, apparently, all this stuff that the Jailer did, all these plans, machinations, manipulations, schemes, all of that is because, get this, he wants to create an eternity of torment. Yeah, you heard that right, he wants to create an eternity of torment. So, Essentially, this guy is just a douche, there doesn't seem to be some grand overarching story of his betrayal, of undoing some injustice, this dude just wants eternal torment, he's evil because he's evil, he bad, he want torment for the good people. Now, I don't wanna jump the gun as these are very very early hints, but if this is the actual confirmed motive, then my only reaction is just yikes. So, this is the background of the Jailer who obviously played and still plays a big role in Savannah's storyline and her character, but what is this new actual info that we have on the former Ranger General? We essentially have two things at this point in time, a new dialogue and a new model. Let's get into the first bit. Now, this is a data mined dialogue segment that we can't determine the actual context yet, but it is either talking about the Jailer or Artis, and I think they left it purposely vague. Silvana says, I don't remember the exact moment I've wrestled control. I do remember the rush of freedom, the clarity of purpose. When I loosed my arrow, I sought to become his judge and his executioner. I thought if I could punish him for his crimes, I would be absolved of mine. Forgive him for the atrocity he forced me to commit against my own people, but there would be no justice that day. For anyone, that is yet to come. Now, I know people talked about this big in regards to the Jailer because I think it is purposely left vague as Sylvanas fired an arrow both at the Jailer and Artis, but I'm almost certain this is about Artis and what happened in Warcraft 3. 
as you might remember, it was confirmed that Uther, as a victim of Frostmourne, will be helping Savannah get her soul back as he went through the same thing. So this seems like a part of a conversation with Uther and the reflections on the past. Of course, could be wrong. However, especially the bit when she says she sought to become his executioner because, as you remember, Artis barely survived that poisoned arrow and I doubt Savannah expected to kill the jailer when she fired that arrow. I think that was symbolic at best. She definitely knew the full extent of his power. If she could just fire an arrow, she would have done it a long time ago. However, if this does end up being in regards to the jailer, which I think there is a very slim chance, then once again, yikes, I don't even know what to say anymore. Now, another bit of data mined info, new stuff, is that Sylvanas gets yet another model, not the prisoner one you have seen, but a brand new one that we can't see yet. Apparently, it seems like this model is encrypted and it is more than likely going to appear in 9.2 when it is actually released and as we progress through the patch. The reason for this is because I don't think this will be a reskin or something similar similar but probably something big and that could be a huge spoiler for what is to come which is why they don't really want us to see it yet. Well before this seemed like outlandish speculations now they make a lot more sense and as I said in the title it is entirely possible that she could become either a Lich Queen or the Avatar of Azeroth. In regards to the Lich King slash Lich Queen, it is all but confirmed that the Lich King will be recreated. We have a remnant of the Fallen King, more than likely Artus in the actual Anduin fight inside his Blade Kingsmorn, and we also have a datamine cinematic called Reforging the Helm, which we can't see or access yet. Seeing that the former Lich King might appear, and we know that the Helm, the Helm of Domination, was shattered at the start of the Shadowlands, and Sylvanas was the one that did it, I wouldn't be surprised if they really went went the Lich Queen route. Honestly, I don't think it is good writing in any way, but it could be like her punishment because a part of the campaign is called Judgment, meaning that she'll most likely receive a sentence. They also said in the interview that she needs to face her crimes. They've said this outright, but they didn't really say in what way. It is possible that they might go the route of Savannah's patching up the sky that she broke, as well as the helm, and then undoing the damage she caused all of us. On the other side, as I mentioned at the start, the Jailer is literally attacking our world soul. There is Azerite in the final battle. This was all data mined and many things indicate that there will be some sort of awakening in regards to this boss battle. There also seems to be some data mined hints that an avatar of Azeroth will appear that might play a role in ultimately defeating the Jailer. There was a super unreliable like trust me bro tier leak that Sylvanas will become this avatar but once again with the writing as it is this wouldn't really surprise me all that much. This could be a Sylvanas redemption slash punishment ending that Blizzard always wanted. Azeroth channels through her she becomes the the avatar and defeats her former master and ultimately she perishes in the end or gets absorbed in some way despite how cringy this would be because i don't know if savannah's can possibly get any more significance than she already has maybe this could be a way to salvage some of this storyline however in regards to this so far it is super early to fully speculate yet Thank you for watching! Check out his jailer the worst villain ever by clicking on the screen and check out Donald's Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.